everyone. This is Laura, and she's come to the Mari Show. Eight years ago, Laura was about to go to bed when her 19-year-old son, Angel, turned to her and said, Good night, Mom. I love you. And as fate would have it, that would be the last time that Laura would ever hear her son's voice. The next day, Angel met up with friends to ride dirt bikes in their hometown of Hartford, Connecticut. He never returned home. What happened to Angel? After eight years of searching, Laura and the authorities have run out of leads. Watch this. The last time that I heard my son's voice <laughs> was eight years ago. And the last thing that he said to me was, Good night, Ma. I love you. My son, Angel Garcia, he went missing. Until this day, I haven't heard anything. There hasn't been no leads. It's just a mysterious disappearance. I woke him up to go to school. I went to work. I found out that he went riding bikes with his friends. I knew something was wrong. I knew that something wasn't right when I realized that my son didn't come home that night. We searched for my son, foot, my ear, my cadaver dogs. He didn't just disappear. Something happened to my son. What happened to my son is the question that I've been asking for the past eight years. <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> Anything, whatever it is, whatever it takes. Just to hear that voice again. I need help. I, I, I need help to bring my son home. Can't do it alone. So, to help uncover some clues, we enlisted the help of a psychic. Her name is Jenny Marie. She's also known as Mama Medium. And later on, we're going to show you what happened when Jenny Marie had the opportunity to spend some time with Laura. It's not for trying. You've done just about everything anyone could do to find your son in the last eight years. That is correct. We search by air, by land, cadaver dogs, uh, divers. We search just about every park in the Hartford area, surrounding towns. We put flyers everywhere, yeah. and we're still doing that to this day. He loved bikes. Yes. And he liked to ride dirt bikes. Yes. And that's where he went that, that night. Correct. Meanwhile, you really think that there are people who know what happened. Since day one, it's been here in my gut feeling that whatever happened to my son had to do with the same friends that were with him, the same people that are around me that says hi to me. Right. It, it's there. Apparently, that night, you know, when he was still out, you had heard something. I was actually sleeping that night, and I woke Though his voice woke me up out of my sleep. I just heard him say, go ahead, break it, and I jumped out of bed. His girlfriend was actually living in the house with us, too, and both rooms was facing each other, and we both opened the doors at the same time. Because she thought she heard something. And when I asked her, did you hear that, she said yes, and that's we ran to the porch, the front porch, there was nothing there. We ran to the back porch, there was also nothing there. And that's when I realized that something was wrong. After all this time, when the trail goes cold, I mean, what can you do? You called us. Correct. You haven't been able to have closure. No, not at all. And you agreed to meet with a friend of ours, a psychic named Jenny Marie, right? Yes. We'll find out what happened because we enlisted the help of psychic Jenny Marie in hopes that she could really use her gifts to gain some insight into Angel's disappearance. And here's what happened when Laura and Jenny Marie met just 24 hours ago. Hi. Hi. I'm Jenny Marie. Hi, I'm Laura. How it's are you? It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Do you have a picture of him, just because this is why he keeps showing himself to me, from head up? I can only have from here up. Oh, God. Look at it. I have chills everywhere. He showed me this picture. I feel your son's in spirit. Mm. 
I'm sorry. Have you dreamt of him? Because he's saying he's been in your room. <sighs> when I woke up, I couldn't remember the dream. It's okay, you felt him. That's the best part because not everybody gets to feel them. And he told me to tell you that was really him. <laughs> he said, talk about the tattoo or the scar on the back, which means he sees it. One of his ex-girlfriends has his name tattooed on her back. Is there something wrong with the back of your car? Does the trunk not shut all the way, or is there a dent in it? Why does he want to talk about the back of a car? My daughter just tore her car. From behind? The trunk would have opened. Stop! Can you see where this happened in Connecticut, that they took him? Not far from here. Sorry. When we came down the street, I'm like, oh, feels very familiar, feels very familiar. <sighs> Is there an underpass this way? Right there. Right side of the road, he got in the car. The person behind the driver put something on his head. He sat behind the passenger, and he knew the passenger. Florida keeps coming up for me. I think that's where his body is. So it's near railroad tracks and a chain link fence, and I see a shovel. He's buried. So he keeps showing me a zipper on the mouth, and Angel keeps opening it, which means somebody's going to start talking. Four to five years, four to five months. I do think they're going to find him. <laughs> this not making sense to me. Wow. You think there's something there? I hope so. Okay. Everybody, here's Jenny Marie, OK? It was a hard reading. It was very hard. You basically think you know the spot where he disappeared. I do. What do you think the next step is? Uh, I think people are going to start talking. Laura, I want you to look in this camera right here. It's been eight long years. Please, any information that you have, it doesn't matter what it is, speak up. Call the Hartford Police Department and say something. Please help this family. We need closure. We need peace. Please, just help us. Angel Garcia went missing on October 21st, 2011. If you have any information regarding Angel's whereabouts, please call the Hartford, Connecticut Police Detectives Division at this number, 1-860-757-4236 or 860-757-4242. Thank you very much. And thank you, Laura, for coming. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Now, if you want to see more Mari content, click here. And be sure to subscribe to be the first to know about new videos.